Welcome to the video bulletin for April 24th. We have a lot to cover this week, so let's get started. Ms. Cervantes in the Career Center wants you to know that Mayor Renee Chavez is looking for interns who want to gain experience working on political campaigns. Evening and weekend hours are available, and this qualifies for community service hours. Volunteers are needed for Community Employment Day being held at the Puente Hills Mall on May 17th and 18th. Again, this is an excellent opportunity to network with community employers and gain community service hours. Star testing starts tomorrow and will take place Tuesday through Friday. Mr. Clegg, our principal, will now speak to the importance of star testing. Hi, I'm Jose Marillo here with the principal, Mr. Clay, and he want to tell us why star testing is so important and crucial to our school. Okay. Well, good morning, Wildcats. Okay, it, it is certainly a great day to be alive and be a, be a Wildcat. Okay, well, I'd like to talk to you first about why our star testing is so important. Uh, the purpose of our star is, of course, is to measure how well students are learning the knowledge and skills on the California content standards in really four areas. And those four areas are English language arts, mathematics, science, and social science. Okay, but why is it, why is start testing so important for, uh, for us? There are really several reasons. First one is, you know that, you know that the results are used to measure our school's progress. And uh, schools are ranked in the state of California okay, uh, by their API. And our API is determined on how well our start tests. Currently, our API is 773, and we are targeting to go above 800 to 812. All, all, uh, all schools in California by 2012 have to be over 800, and, and, and we, are, we are moving forward to making that happen immediately. But guys, we are great, and, and, and we are going to be continuing to grow and, and, and to be uh, excited about the fact that our API is over 800, and, and, and we'll do that by performing well on the STAR test. But also, the results help our district and our school identify the strengths and weaknesses of our instructional program, so we can make improvements in those instructional programs. And thirdly, the test results are used to identify your needs as students, uh, and to assist in, in placement of courses and in pl placement of programs. So, so those te STAR tests are very important to you, Okay, to, to help you get into the right courses that you need, and also, and also to be able to uh, get into the programs that, that are important to you. Okay, but it is uh, so it is important to you and the school for you to do your best and to show exactly what you have learned, because that's really what the start test is, identifies. Okay, if you don't do perform to the best of your ability, the information we get will not be accurate, and so we cannot provide the best program to fit your need. So it's very important for you to do the best that you can do. Okay. Now, STAR test uh, results are used to determine, but really to the extent in which students are learning the state standards. Okay, so in every one of your courses, you're covering state standards, so STAR test tells you how well you're learning those standards. The instructional areas that can be improved, uh, uh, improved to promote better student achievement. Okay. The teaching strategies that can be developed to address the learning needs of students and decisions that are how, how we use funds okay, to ensure that we have the right programs and, of course, placement of students in programs and courses. Mr. Clay, I was wondering, what's the best way for students to prepare for STAR testing? Okay. I think one of the things that, that's important to do is you've got to have a great attitude and, and, and you've got to strive to do your best. That's, that's the very first thing. If you don't have a great attitude and you aren't going to be here to strive your best, you're not going to prepare yourself well. The other thing is just to be here. Okay, perfect attendance is essential to performing well on the test. If you're not here, you can't take the test, and you've got to be here to, to, to take it. Uh, the other thing is to be on time. You've got to be on time for all the tests. Okay, get plenty of rest, get, get a nutritious breakfast, and be determined to do your best. And ha have that Wildcat pride to show off that, that uh, what, what our Wildcats are, really know and are able to do. Okay? And uh, I think if uh, we do those things, we'll prepare our best for, for, for that start testing. Okay, class. Tell me what we can get for tea. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, very good. Very good. Very good. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Is that everybody?
Now let's hit that 812 mark for our star testing. Mr. Gervaisa said that there's going, there's going to be a mandatory boys water polo meeting at lunch April 27th in room G11. Anyone interested in playing next fall must come to discuss spring and summer water polo programs. Now let's follow Coach Allen with a few words on the upcoming 3 on 3 basketball tournament. Uh, hi, I'm Coach Allen. Uh, I just want to talk a little bit about the three-on-three -three contest that we're going to be having, uh, basketball. Uh, this is our third annual three-on-three -three contest. It'll be, it'll be run from April 26th to May 3rd. Uh, it will be at lunchtime in the gym. The cost will be $15 per team. Uh, the winning team will receive trophies. Uh, there will only be allowed restrictions. There will only be one varsity player on each team if you have a varsity player other than that. Anybody can play. Uh, last year we had about 21 teams. It was a great time. People came and watched that much time. So come out and uh, bring your team in, whether it's a soccer team, football team, you guys want to bring in anybody. Anybody can play. Uh, girls, guys, it doesn't matter. Uh, if you have any questions, come see me in room B3. And uh, the money is due uh, April 25th or before. You guys want to know why I'm so good? It's the socks. What? No, no boy, you're wrong. He's he a story basketball. You're wrong. You're wrong. It's not about the shoes. You're definitely no, wrong. I don't even know how you shoot. Shoe. Anything like that. It's, it's, it's not about all of them. It's really the shoe. It's, it's about the It's about me. And the game. The star. The game will Prima only give you the head hot shoes. As you put in the game. Come on, baby. You got to know it. Yeah. What? No. Stop that. I know you're mad. I know you're upset. You're wrong. I know what will make both of you guys feel bad. Did you know that the Chinese placement test, Spanish 2 and 3 honors test, will be held on April 26 from 3 to 4 p.m. in the following locations? Chinese at D17, Spanish 2 honors at D18, and Spanish 3 honors at C5. The Chinese placement tests are only for those who are currently not in the Chinese program and for those who want to challenge themselves. The application for Spanish honors can be obtained from your teachers. Let's take a look at the campus beautification. Hi, I'm here, I'm here with Mr. Webster. What is Campus Beautification Day? Campus Beautification Day will be on May 20th and it's an opportunity for uh, groups on campus and any students to come onto campus and help kind of clean up the place, do a lot of the things that the uh, custodians can't normally get to, like washing down the walls and doors and uh, picking up some of the extra trash that uh, maybe they don't normally get to uh, get to during the normal course of the day. And how could the students and teachers on campus help out with Beautification Day? Uh, first of all, a lot of the teachers and students can identify areas that they feel like need to be cleaned up. Um, also, teachers can offer extra credit. I know that for seniors who need uh, community service, this is a great time to come in and get your community service hours done uh, right before they're going to be due. And uh, so teachers, if they want to be here to help out and to uh, kind of help direct some of the kids, uh, usually when we, did, when we did this last year right before our WASC visit, uh, we had about 100 students show up. And in about three hours, we had the entire camp, campus pretty much spotless. We took care of everything that we needed to do. And uh, the students walked away really feeling like they'd actually helped out. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Hi, I'm Stella Kim, Senior Class President. And I'm Angela Chin, ASB Secretary. And we're here to inform you about the upcoming ASB elections for 2006 and 2007. The Cabinet and Senator applications will be out on May 1st, and they will be due on May 5th. And the campaign week for Cabinet candidates will be from May 8th through the 11th. And students will be able to vote for Cabinet members on May 15th. The Senators will be campaigning from May 15th through the 19th, and students will be able to vote for Senators on May 22nd. 
Commissioner interviews will be May 23rd through 26th. All of these applications will be available sometime next week in the ASB office. Look for posters around campus to check for dates. These applications will be available for all upcoming sophomores, juniors, and seniors. We encourage all of you to try out for any of these positions. Join the ASB family. I'm so bored. Want to get ready for prom? Okay. okay. Yay, I'll go first. I landed on the dress shop. I get a dress. Ooh, it's so pretty. It's gorgeous. My turn. Take a chance for a date. Who is it? Adrian's my date. Ooh. Yay! All right, my turn. Oh, beans. Straight to jail for drinking. <sighs> Yay, prom is so fun. So the Frost through Juniors, school will begin on, on, next year on August 30th. Thursday, April 27th is the last day for all CSF members to bring their goodie bags. Please deliver your treats to room G4 the end of the day on Thursday. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Alvarado in G4. The faculty is three for three. For the last winner of Wildcat Idol was Ms. C.J. Strong Williams. However, the students are putting the faculty to the test. See what you think and make your vote at gawilson.com. Hi, my name is Kelly Weimer and I will be perform performing a Diana Ross song. What are you singing? In his kiss. Once he loves me, I want to know. How can you tell if he loves me so? Is it in his eyes? Oh no, you'd be deceived. If you're not listening to all that I mean. If you want to know, even you love him so. It's in his kidneys. It's all oh, yes, it's in his kidneys. Not have to stop. Whatever. Hi, Mr. Adams couldn't make it, so he asked me, I'm his sister. My name is Frizzola Latagast, and you can tell where that name came from. I'm Frizzola Latagast. Don't forget to vote for Miss Frizzola. What are you going to sing? Oh, I'm going to sing a song called Crazy. That's what I like about you, honey. That's what I like about you. Great, great choice. Thank Go you. with it. Okay. <laughs> I like a man who is crazy about me. I like a man who can live without me. That's what I like about you. One, two, three. I like a man who will lay down beside me. I like a man who will stand up to me too. That's what I like about you. That's what I like about you. Don't want a man who will be my twin under my thumb, yeah, under my skin. Don't want a man like a shadow on the ground with nothing else to do to follow me around. I'm like a man who will cry on my shoulder. Who don't mind if I die sometimes? That's what I like about you. Who don't mind if I die sometimes? That's what I like about you. When my whole world breaks in two Yeah, that's what I like about you You, 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 you. you can be soft, honey 
money, you can be strong. Maybe that's the reason we get along. Everything you do, you do just right. You're tender in love. Don't get a fight. Beside me, stand up to me, cry on my shoulder, praise it about me, tell her what I bleed to. That's what I like about you. Tell her my heart. That's what I like about you. What song was that? Oh, great. That's what I like about. You, honey. <laughs> you have a, a, a nice voice, but I think it lacks experience. Carl? No. I hated the audition, everything about it. You are. I hate the dress. Oh. Same. I thought it was a very, very mediocre version. Is it a yes or no from you? No. Wow, isn't that for Zola something? If you want to see more of that, I'm not sure if I do, but you can vote for your favorite Wildcat Idol at gawilson.com. One last announcement, and that is applications for next year's academic decathlon team are now available. If you are interested, please attend the informational meeting this Thursday in room B17. We need students with A, B, and C grade point averages. Good luck on the star testing. And that wraps up another video bulletin for this week.